This is part two of a tutorial that I have created on how to log students on to Schoology using um, LAUSD's uh, learning management system. Okay, so the view that you see right here is of the student iPad. So this would be similar to the view that the student would have when they are gonna sign on to Schoology. Um, hopefully you went to video number one and you downloaded the students' emails and then created a new password for them so that they can log on to the website. You're going to need those two parts. If you haven't done that, please go back and watch the first video on how to give students access to Schoology. So if you've done that, we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to go right here to the, app, um, the um, internet browser. And this is going to take us to this page. And we have the URL here. We're going to click on this URL. lms.lausd.net. Here it is, lms.lausd.net. And then we're going to go to push this button, go. And when we go, you're going to be seeing this page. This is in English. I do want to point out to you that here on the right hand side is a Spanish. So if we click on Spanish, for those that feel better reading this information in Spanish, they can click there and, and be able to get a translation into Spanish. I'm going to go back to the English here. And so we're going to click here where it says students. So once we click students, it's going to take you to this page. And this page is where you, the student is going to need their email and the password that you provided them with. So I'm going to go ahead and punch in one of my students who does not regularly sign in. I'm going to punch in her information. And I do want to point out that you need to be very careful when you put in the last portion of the email, um, which is mymail.lausd.net. You need to remember to put in mymail, period, lausd.net. If the students miss any part of that email address, it will not let them through. So you want to make sure that you let them know that so that they don't give up right away and say, it doesn't work because that's a, a problem I found that my second graders often have. And so I encourage them to really look at that email before they press enter or to try it again. So once they have put the email in, they're gonna to come to this page and this on this page, it's going to have only this part is important to them, what's at the very top. Um, it's gonna have your teacher's name, uh, the picture that they may have put there and then this part that says grade two, term one, TA, period one. This is the part where the students are going to need to press. Uh, not to press here or here, because that'll take them somewhere else. They could press right here where it says uh, grade two, term one, TA, period one. So I'm gonna go ahead and press there. And the students are gonna find this page. This is the page, again, to show you that it is your classroom page. It says grade two, term one, TA, period one. Um, these, you won't find this on your page, or the students won't find this on their page as I have it here, because this is stuff that I populated on the page. Um, the, the student will know it's their page, though, if they look up to the upper right-hand corner, there's a picture of them. There's also a little um, envelope I'd like to point out to you where the student can send a message to the teacher, um, just, they just need to press right here where it says new message, right there. And then the new message will load. They can put who the message is to, send it, and then send it off to the teacher. Um, or they'll be able to read a message that you may have sent them there. This little bell right here is reminding her, um, she had not logged in again, like I was saying, um, that she has 39 assignments due because she haven't, hasn't logged in. Okay, so usually students won't have that many that are due. So then the students can have access to all their work on this page here. And that's it for logging the students on.